Hi YouTube, welcome back to my channel. Today, I am doing something fun. We will be eating, but later in the video. We're gonna be making the food, and then we'll be eating. I have a special guest with me here. <laughs> His name is Ricky Shucks. Me. Yes, you. Sweet. And we are going to be baking devil's food cake. Hey. I would suggest to get a really good whisk because you'll be whisking a lot in this tutorial. Yes, you will. You will. About to get your uh, forearms and triceps <laughs> popping. Okay, so without further ado, let's get right into the video. Wait, I got some more ado. Uh, why is it called devil's food cake? Okay. I honestly don't know, but it's really rich and really chocolatey, and I feel like that's just like a, a sin. Like it's too rich and too chocolatey that it's I'm sorry. I devilish. Asked y Let's go. <laughs> I don't know. She wins. That's what my teacher told she me. Wins. That's what he said. She That's wins. what he said. <laughs> okay, are you ready? I've been ready. We are going to be whisking together our eggs, sugar, and vanilla. We're gonna whisk together three eggs, and um, when you're whisking eggs, um, I recommend you to crack your eggs in a separate container before putting it into the mixture, because what if you crack a bad egg and then like, and then you crack it into the mixture, it'll like ruin your mixture. So crack a bad egg. Was a bad egg. You've never cracked a bad egg? Uh -huh. It smells like it's really, it's rotten, like it's a rotten egg. Oh, yeah, that's okay. Yeah, okay, so I'm gonna ask you to start whisking the eggs, and then I'm gonna incorporate the sugar. Like this. Okay, yeah. Yeah. Well just keep okay here. <laughs> 12 ounces of sugar. 12 ounces. Devil's sweet cake. Okay, not that slow, right? So we're going to be whisking these eggs until it's it reaches a ribbon stage. And I'm going to show you guys what I mean when it reaches the ribbon stage. But the eggs are going to be turning um, a light pale yellow. And what? while he's doing that, I'm going to incorporate one teaspoon of vanilla extract. And adding vanilla into your chocolate cake will enhance the chocolate flavor by a whole bunch. Go, oh, go, 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 go! Bro, fast! <laughs> okay, well, while Rick is doing that, I'm I'm going to be I'm going to be sifting the dry ingredients together. You no, know, you think I'd be better at this. Cause like I do a lot of things with these kind of motions. Oh my gosh. What? What kind of things, Rick? Huh? Normal everyday things like sweeping and mopping and beating up. I just added three ounces of cocoa powder. Added it to what? To Looks my like sifter. Like you didn't add it to anything. To my sifter. Show chef. I'm going to be putting in one tablespoon of baking soda. 10.5 ounces of all-purpose flour. Mm -hmm. This is why I never like sold drugs. Why? Because I hear you gotta do this when you're making certain drugs. And I don't like it. Okay, so the reason why we sift the flour and dry ingredients together and not just pour them all in at once is to mm. avoid clumps. Okay. And also, we sift to get the impurities out because sometimes powders tend to like collect like ugly, nasty things. Yeah. So we're still not at the ribbon stage yet, but we are getting close because the eggs are turning a pale yellow. Just gonna have to keep mixing. 
Yeah, you um, think it's I get one red one. What? Like, like, oh. Yes. Watch his chop once. Got to make a meringue. Didn't know I knew X could do that. Oh uh, what? Meringue. Um, is it the whole egg or? Just the whites. Duh. Okay, how do you do it? Like this. <laughs> It would be better and to then use the electric peaks. mixer. Or soft peaks. It depends. On what? On what you want. You said you want a meringue. Of course we want it soft. <laughs> no, it's, going, it's going on a pie. <laughs> I'm not making meringue puffs. If so, I'll put them in a blast chiller. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> yeah. She got me. I know what I'm talking about. I'm gonna start my potatoes! <laughs> and the reason why we're whisking so hard is because we want to incorporate air into it so our cakes, our cake can be fluffy. Our cakes, we're making two, mm -hmm. two pans so we can stack them. It's gonna be a layered cake, that's what we call it in the biz. Layered, not stacked. While he's still mixing, okay. I'm going to be combining the rest of the ingredients. So I have vegetable oil here. And the reason why we're using vegetable oil instead of butter is so the cake can be super moist. I have seven ounces of vegetable oil. And then I have seven ounces of buttermilk. And we have eight ounces of Ooh, brewed okay. coffee. Black coffee, no, no cream or sugar. Yes. I'm gonna take this whisk and just kind of mix it together. Why can't I do that one? Cause you're already doing that one. Okay. Okay. And the reason why we're adding coffee into this mixture as well yeah. is because yeah, it's because coffee mix <laughs> the chocolate flavor come out more. So we're trying our best to really moisten this cake and really bring out the chocolate flavor. All right, so we are here. And this is ribboning stage, a little bit. Maybe it could use a little more whisking, but ribboning means you can see like lines of ribbons in your mixture. Our mixture is at a ribboned consistency. Mm -hmm. And now we're going to be adding the dry and the wet ingredients so it's going to be um alternate like dry wet dry wet until all of it is incorporated oh wow yes and when you mix it make sure you fold it like that so it doesn't um it doesn't the air doesn't escape or like go out i'm doing it yeah because oh. i'm going to be adding oh that's not working <laughs> Okay, so you're gonna scrape the bowl. So we're just gonna be folding in our mixture. This is the dry, I haven't added the wet yet. And then we're going to be adding the wet mixture. And by the time that you're done with um, both the wet and the dry mixture, your um, chocolate mix is going to be pretty liquidy. So don't worry if it doesn't <coughs> look like regular cake batter. Here we've got our mixture ready. We are going to be buttering. <laughs> We're going to be buttering our pans. Oh, and make sure to preheat your oven. <laughs> <laughs> 350. And the buttering is to make it come out easy? Yeah. And it adds a little bit more fat and flavor into the cake. I want to be lining the bottom with parchment paper, but if you don't have parchment paper, you can just butter the pan and dust the sides and the bottom with cocoa powder and your cake will come right off too. 
I have some parchment paper is in now. She didn't show you that for some reason, but it's there. Parchment paper. I don't think it's necessary. Like, she, she just don't want y'all to know everything. Shut up. <laughs> Air bubbles. No air pockets. It's already been preheated to 350. There you go. Leave it in there for. We'll start checking on your cakes by like 40 minutes. The two cakes are in the oven and it smells delicious. So right now we are going to be making the icing and it's going to be a chocolate fudge icing. Mascarpone. No mascarpone in here. <sighs> <laughs> what do we watch Chop for? We spent a whole day watching Chop and we don't make no mascarpone. We don't use no candied oysters or anything like that. Oh my like god. That. Okay, so here I have two cups of cocoa powder. Just regular cocoa powder. Um, and then I have two cups of powdered sugar. It's one cup of whole milk. Okay. This is butter, and it's one cup of butter. No margarine. No margarine. Melted butter. Yep. And I have vanilla extract. It's gonna be one teaspoon of vanilla extract. Guys, look, it's so beautiful. And it smells delicious. Doesn't it smell delicious? Mmm. -hmm. Um, are you excited? Mm, nah, not really. You're annoying. Cakes are out from the oven. We're letting it rest so it can cool down and we um, can put our frosting on it. This is a chocolate fudge frosting. Mm -hmm. And um, we cheated and used the hand mixer <laughs> because Rick didn't want any lumps in his fudge. Who does? Nobody. But I mean, if you whisk it hard enough, nah, man. <laughs> then it can happen. Look, they made and or they actually, for a reason. you can use you can put all the ingredients into like a food processor or like a um, blender. blender, and it'll work just as fine. Mm -hmm. So yeah, yeah. Get that. <laughs> but yeah, we use a mixer to get it to this consistency. Right. I'll show you guys. It's very velvety. Super delicious. What? See, guys, it came out perfectly. What? Can we eat the parchment paper, though? No, you have to <laughs> take off the parchment paper. <sighs> mm. to just put frosting on it but you can decorate your cake with fruits with a little powdered sugar candles anything you want a scented candle ew <laughs> a big old chunk okay look at that cake you see that fudge frosting all right, I'm gonna move this cake to the side. And let's taste test this stupid cake. Why is it gotta be stupid? <laughs> this delicious cake. Right. So am I officially in a, uh, a mukbang? <laughs> Ew. Am I inside one of your mukbangs here? Eh? Do you force noises when you do it? 
No, you make a lot of noise in the movie. Yeah. Annoying me ass, dude. The sushi hook one. I didn't realize that I was even doing those noises until I was editing. <laughs> and I was like, damn. <laughs> That's like every single bite. Mm -hmm. So then I just compiled it and put it as my um, <laughs> intro. Yeah. If you guys decide to make this recipe, make sure to send it to me, take a picture of it, tag me in it, do all that stuff. And until next time. <sighs> Bye. <sighs> And a burp has to be in there too. There's your noises. <laughs> and that burp smell really bad. Your burp? Your burp. Oh, sorry. <laughs> smell like uh, baby's bacon treats. Ew. I have bad breath. I have bad breath. Mm-hmm. Alright, bye guys.